Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Okay, you guys, I've never done this before, but I'm gonna do um, a what's in my mailbox unboxing. You know, I was just on vacation and I came home to a stack of packages. It was so fun, it was literally better than Christmas. I was like, what in the world? I cannot believe all this. So I've never done anything like this before, but I, I love watching videos like this. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a what's in my mailbox unboxing. Um, I'm wearing a couple of the things that I did get. This is the um, Zuni Larry necklace from Stella and Dot. And I used my Dot dollars for this necklace. And then the, I'll do a close up of the ring too. This is the Xena split ring. So those were, that was one of the packages was, were these two items. So, and I think actually that Stella and Dot just launched their new fall collection. Um, if so, I will uh, be checking that out. I don't know, I'll have to ask Natalie from Flower Bomb 31 because she is a rep for Stella and Dot. So I'll link her channel down below because she always posts awesome videos. You know that, we just did a collab together. She's my like, one of my BFFs here on YouTube. Um, this first box right here is from Beautylish. This was a total surprise. Um, and oh my gosh, first off the packaging. The way they do their stuff is so amazing. So it says Beautylish on the um, front. And then it has a little card. And then it says Chickahoto times Beautylish. And I knew exactly what that meant was in this box. And I could not believe it. Um, it was just a beautiful thank you card from the Beautylish team uh, thanking me for helping with the Chickahota launch for the Sakura collection. And, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I like cannot believe they sent, they sent them to me. So this is how it, it's packaged. You open up the Beautylish little pouch, which I love. And then is the Chickahota Sakura brush box tied with a ribbon. They, everything they do is so fancy and so luxe. Um, you open it up. Look at, I haven't even, oh my gosh, I haven't even opened these. I've been so excited. Like they are still in their wrappers, the five brushes. And then this is the brush bag that comes with them. Super cute little patent leather brush bag. Um, gosh, I like literally, I will insert some um, close ups of these because they are so, so pretty, you guys. I mean, like, very generous gift. So thank you so much, Beautylish, for sending this. Th these are hands down the nicest brushes I've ever owned. And I literally, when I when I realized what was in this box, I was like, wait a minute, what? They're sending me these? I, I mean, I was like, just couldn't, couldn't believe it. Just really, really luxurious brushes. Okay, next package. Um, has another makeup brush you're gonna see this is like the makeup brush video I don't know it's so funny like all of a sudden I got all of these packages with makeup brushes this is from cover effects I'm really excited about this this is their brand new brush um, and this is the custom blending brush and this is to be used with the custom cover drops and the new custom infusion drops and let's open this thing up see I haven't you guys I've been waiting to film this for you so that I have not even gotten to play with any of these yet and this is a very, very dense, round buffing brush. And it's synthetic. Yeah, it feels synthetic. Yeah, definitely synthetic. Sorry, I'm like, I don't know. Actually, I had to feel it. synthetic. And it's, I cannot wait to try this. This is almost like a tiny little, really dense kabuki. And it's a weighted brush, so it's got some real kind of like weight to it, which is great. And it fits in the hand really nicely. I'm really excited. And I just, this is gonna be so pretty for buffing the custom cover drops on. So custom blending brush, this is brand new. I'm not even sure if this is available online yet. If it is, I will link it down below. And I don't even know what the price is. I'll, I'll find out all the information and I'll link it down below for you because it didn't have a little um, fact sheet in the package. So then I got another package, another really generous package of brushes, brush roll, brush back belt, brush bag, I mean, and a bunch of Delium brushes. You guys, this is so awesome. Look at all these brushes. I could not believe it. And it's, you know, everybody thinks it's Bedelium, but the B is actually silent and it's Delium tools. This is a great brush roll. This will go right into my pro kit. I always need brush rolls because none of them are big enough to accommodate all of the brushes that I really have and that I carry in my kit. 
but let's like walk through some of these brushes. Um, this is the number 785. I should have opened all of these ahead of time. Sorry, you guys. This is the 785 tapered blending brush. It's ideal for applying shadow within the crease and of the eye to add depth. And um, it is soft, natural, and synthetic mixed fibers. So by judging by the feel of this, it's probably pony, synthetic and pony. It might be a little bit of goat in there. Um, but I love Delian brushes, so this is really exciting. So that's the 785. Um, this is next is the 781. This is a crease brush. Um, this is crafted for eye crease work um, and use you can use it for contrasting colors. Um, if you want a really fine precise application, especially in the socket, this is perfect for that. Um, you use the tip of the brush um, for that really precise application and this is also natural and synthetic mixed fibers. So this is a really nice tight dense little baby crease brush instead of like you know this is the, the this 785 is more of like that ponytail fluffy crease brush next is uh the 783 this is a small tapered blending brush this blends your favorite shadows within the crease of your eye for precision application um and once again it is a mix of synthetic and natural fibers this is a longer brush than the 781 but it's a nice dense one it's not quite as fluffy as the 785 so these three you could do a really great detailed look on the eyes um really blown out crease but also you could do a really cut crease um with the three of those so those are, those are going to be a great addition to my makeup collection life I'm really excited about this next one. This is the 944. This is the tapered contour. I have wanted this specific brush from Delium for a long time. And this brush is designed to sculpt and shape the contours of the face. Uh, you can apply apply powder, blush, or highlight. Um, it's not it's natural and synthetic mixed fibers. And it actually feels a lot softer than the other one. So I don't know if this has more synthetic in it or not. Um, but this is the perfect highlight brush and the perfect like kind of blending that highlight blush and contour all together this is also a great sculpting brush around the hairline and just for a really subtle subtle contour when you don't want a big like blown out contour you want to really really place the product in the the hollows of your face or where the sun would hit but i can't i'm i probably will mostly use this for like under eye setting and highlight that's really what i wanted a brush like this for so that is the 944 tapered contour um, this next one's really interesting. This is the 939 Slanted Detailer, and this is designed to apply liquid or cream products around the nose and hard to reach areas. Um, this is all synthetic, and I don't know, I don't have any brush like this that is that is so, that is as narrow as this one. I have slanted like kabukis and all kinds of stuff like that, but I don't have any one that's really narrow that really is gonna get around that nose, really buffing product, also right in the corner of the eye. So I am actually really excited to play around with this and try this one. Once again, this is the 939 Slanted Detailer. Next is the 957, and this is the Precision Kabuki. This one is really versatile because of its really soft, dense, flat, bristled head, and it gives you a very professional blushing effect. It's also ideal for applying um, liquid and creams or powders. So this is great for a like cream blush, um, cream contour, but you could buff your foundation in with a brush like this um, or this can also buff your you know like products in your powder products in um, I wouldn't use a brush this dense to buff the whole face together at the very end it's too dense for that but for cream this is I wanted this actually for cream products so really excited about this this is the 957 precision kabuki and the last brush that Delium sent me is so mega I'm like I don't have a single brush that's anywhere close to this. Look at this, you guys. This is the 990 angled face. It's perfectly suited for whisking powder over the face or gently brushing off any excess powder. It's natural and synthetic brushes. And this is really like that perfect brush that if you are gonna bake your under eye concealer, which let's face it most of us do not need to do it that's a, that's very excessive for like everyday life unless you are a professional selfie taker on Instagram you don't really 
or you're on stage or the red carpet, things like that, you don't probably really need to bake your under eye concealer every day, which baking means that you put a, your concealer on and then a ton of powder and you just let it set there for a while and get really warm and just kind of soak into your skin. And then you would dust it off at the end. That's what this brush is going to be perfect for. But this brush is also going to be perfect for kind of the end of makeup application, just sort of like, like dusting off the face for anything loose, anything extra, any eyeshadow fallout. And so, so a brush like this is just essential for a pro kit. Um, like I said, I've been wearing makeup for decades and I've never had a brush like this. So I don't know that it's essential for your everyday life, but if you're building a pro kit or you love to bake your under eye concealer, you probably need a brush like this. So this is the 990 angled face brush. So, I mean, honestly, thank you, Delium. That was so generous. These are beautiful brushes. I cannot believe what a gorgeous package of brushes this, this was. So I will obviously list all those down below for you as well with their website so that you can order them. And I actually think I have a, I might have a code for you. I might have a, dis, I might have a coupon code that they sent me for you to get a discount. I'm not sure. I'll link that down below. Well, we might as well keep talking about makeup brushes because in this box is a bunch more makeup brushes. Now this is really interesting. So months ago a company reached out to me and offered to send me um a makeup some makeup brushes but i'd never heard of them i didn't know who they were and i was really busy with my move so i didn't respond i listen companies reach out on a regular basis wanting me to wanting to send me products wanting me to promote their stuff i don't respond all the time i very rarely respond actually because most of the time people send me stuff out of relationship. Like they know me, we know each other, we've networked, we've connected, whatever we've worked together, or they've seen some of my work or YouTube, things like that. So that's why companies typically send me stuff. But when random companies that I've never heard of send offer to send me stuff, I usually just ignore it. I don't know. I'm just not into it. Right. I'm not on YouTube for the free stuff. So when I was driving home on my vacation, I was boxing Kristen game. My, my like dear friend, I'll link her channel down below. And she was telling me about these brushes that she was like really, really excited about that she had just done a video on and I hadn't watched the review yet because I was like traveling home and she was like, they're really good. And she said the name beauty junkies. And I was like, Oh, they reached out to me. I didn't ever accept any stuff from them. She's like, you should, they're so good. So I emailed them back and said, Hey, I've heard great things about your brushes. I would love to try them. And so she was like, perfect. Why don't you let me know which ones you want to try and I'll send them over to you. So this is the face set. Oops. And I have it upside down. Comes in a, like a brush, like bucket basically that you open up and you can stick them. This is very much what you would see like on set, like a pro set. Um, and then you put your dirty brushes back in here like that. And then that's how you know which brushes to wash, like at the end of, um, the job. So I got a little bit sidetracked because I was looking at like a coupon that was in there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I definitely, I'm going to review these brushes and then give you a discount code there. They've offered to give me a coupon code for you guys. You benefit from it. I don't, but I'm going to, I'm going to show them to you today and then I'm going to use them and test them out and review them. And if I think they're fabulous, if I think they're as great as Kristen says they are, then I will put a promo code down there for you, but I don't want you guys to go buy them with just because you can get 10% off or whatever it is, unless if, and if, what if I'm like, I don't love them, you know what I mean? So I want you guys to have my honest review like Delium. I've been using those brushes for years. I haven't used these specific ones, but I've been using brushes from them. I already know they're great. I already know I like them. So let's see what we have here. This is, um, the tapered Kabuki. This looks a, like a bigger version of the it cosmetics one that I have. And I've heard, I don't have any Sigma brushes. Well, you know, I have like one Sigma brush that I just got for free. Um, but I've heard a lot of people on YouTube say that these are really similar and comp comparable to the Sigma brushes. And I think they're like half the price. So this is the tapered Kabuki. These are all, um, synthetic, but they feel like great synthetic brushes. They honestly feel a lot like my it cosmetics brushes, which I love. This is an angled Kabuki, which is a little bit thicker than my it cosmetics angled Kabuki that I just got um, when I was in San Francisco. So, um, these are great for like, th these are a little dense for blush and contour for me, but these are really nice for like mineral powders and that kind of stuff. As far as the angle Kabuki. Um, once again, I didn't take these out. Sorry. This is the round Kabuki. 
Interesting, this is like a very, they, these are a little bit similar. The cover effects one obviously is shorter and more dense, um, but it's kind of the same thing. It's just a round buffing brush. Um, feels nicer actually than my Morphe one that I love, the Morphe um, metallic series, whatever, gunmetal series that I love that brush. This actually feels a lot nicer than that one. So that'll be interesting to see. And this is a flat top kabuki. Obviously flat top kabukis are really nice for um, buffing foundation and buffing cream products. And uh, let's compare that right next to the Delium kabuki, flat top kabuki. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the the Beauty Junkies is obviously all synthetic, whereas the Delium is a mix of natural and synthetic. So that feels a little bit different, but Size and shape, they're very similar, very comparable to each other. Um, I think that the Beauty Junkies one is a little bit more splayed out, but that it could be because I was just messing around with it. So interesting, very, very similar. And then the last one in the face set is the flat angled Kabuki. So um, I never really know what to do with the flat angled Kabukis, honestly, you guys. I mean, like, what do you do with a flat angled Kabuki? I have some and I don't ever use them. So I wanna know what you do with these. I don't know everything. That's for sure. And then the next set that they, the other set that they sent me is their travel eye set. Comes in a cute little pouch like this. I love this little brush bag. And this set is a set of five brushes um, and they call these the minis. Um, and it looks like the, it actually, oh my gosh, this is so funny. Oh, it's not eye brushes. Well, yeah, these are eye brushes. This is the exact same set of brushes of the big set that they sent me but it's just their mini versions of it oh my gosh this is so cute so like a little mini flat angled brush which is perfect for eyeshadow um this i have a nars brush that's an angled brush like this and i love it it's one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes so that's kind of cool i know what to do with an, a mini angled um this is the what is that that's the oh that's the flat angled kabuki this is the mini angled brush Oh, this is gonna be perfect for under eyes. This is also perfect for detail detail work as far as contouring. If you wanna just do a little bit down the nose, a little under the lip. This is a very good cream, like detail brush. Um, this is the mini flat brush. Obviously this is a great concealer brush. Um, really gonna be perfect for buffing in concealer. It's so funny that these are the big, the baby brushes and the mama brushes. Uh, this is the mini round brush. Same thing. Also great for concealer, but you know what? Brushes like this make awesome eyeshadow brushes because they're so dense that you can really pack. If you're going to do a lot of work on the outer corner or in the crease, you can really pack in a lot of product and get a very like pow kind of eye. And then this is the mini tapered brush. Um, it's funny how like dusty it. I always wash my brushes. Anytime I get a new brush, I always wash it before I put it on my face. And this is why, because there's like dust coming out of it or powder. I don't know what's coming out of it. But anyway, all brushes do that. You should always wash new brushes. Probably none of you do, but you, but it's a really good idea. Um, I'm sorry that I'm playing with my hair so much. I've just changed my part. I just had my hair done while I was at home and she changed my part. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. Anyway, if you don't think anything nice about my hair, keep it to yourself because I don't care. But if you like it, let me know. Um, anyway, this is the mini tapered brush. Obviously this is great for under eye concealing. This also in a pinch could be fine as a eyeshadow brush, but this is definitely one that will go right for the under eyes to me, under eye setting powder, under eye concealer. So that's so cute that it's like babies and mamas. Love it. Um, okay. And let's see, last but not least, I got this big box and I was like, what is this? And then I pulled this out, the Michael Todd Sonicare Elite. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is the antimicrobial face and body sonic cleansing system with vitamin C boost collagen technology. They just redid their um, sonic brush and this is their new one. You know what's really awesome about this is my Claire Sonic broke about a year ago and so I haven't been using it. And um, I always get a little bit nervous because sometimes those things trap bacteria. And when I saw this is the antimicrobial, I was like, what the jiggle what? That's really exciting to me. And then last night I was watching YouTube and I was watching Wayne Goss talk about some of his favorites and he talks about this brush. This is one of his favorite things right now. And he talks about how it doesn't trap bacteria in. So he was really excited about it. So 
I haven't even opened this. Like I said, I've been waiting for you guys, but I cannot wait to try this. I will use this for about 30 days and then do a full review for you. But you know, I cannot stand it when people use a product one time and do a review on it. That's not a review, that's a first impression. So I will do you guys right by giving you a great review on this after I've really used it and have a good opinion about it. Same with these Beauty Junkie brushes. I will wash all these and then throw them in my rotation and I will give you a great review um, on these in, in the next couple of weeks. So but I really wanna use them first. They're a great price point which is really kind of why I was attracted to doing them is so that I could give you guys some great brush options that aren't so expensive. And especially if you're starting a pro kit or if you're just trying to start your brush collection in general, like the Sakura set, obviously $220, I think $215, somewhere around there for five brushes is definitely a different quality, different kind of brush than you're going to get for with these brushes. But synthetic have a great purpose. And, you know, I think this is like $39 for these five brushes. They're available on Amazon. Um, like I said, I should have a discount code for you when I do a review of these. So stay tuned for that. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. This was What's in My Mailbox. If that was interesting to you, thumbs up this video. Or if you just are having a great day, thumbs up this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.